Hi ninjas, how are you guys doing? It's a glow and it was all AK Miss Fair for call bring back for all entertainment. If it's the first time joining me on this doing the welcome, please do make sure to subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you and do not forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at boldly or oh, me. Now, my ninjas, if you are going to be available on Saturday, please do join me. Um, there by Renbeg Music Fest. It's gonna be a first, it's gonna be so nice. It's obviously sponsored or coming through with Vuvuzela. Um, I am trying to organize a table, you guys, because I feel like, okay, we can go in there and just chill, but they have got a VIP and a VVIP, so... <laughs> why not be at least you know somewhere there so the prices are here i'm sure i'm gonna put um a banner and then there's also a yellow banner here that actually has the phone numbers where you can send a whatsapp if you're interested in obviously sitting with me in the same table and we can be in the vip or vvip so as you guys can see the vip is uh, 5,000 rands and the vvip is 10,000 rands and they all have eight sittings so the VVIP is gonna be a bit more expensive, but not like that because it's only like a thousand, just a little over a thousand. And I feel like that's so reasonable for all the stuff that we're going to get. Um, and so for the VIP, it's gonna be even more less, but I'm trying to gun for the VVIP. And when you just, if you are interested, please do send the WhatsApp message. If you wanna come and you wanna sit by the VIP or the VVIP and you just wanna be, you know, there, cause it's gonna be fun. Um, you can go ahead and come, y'all, and we can meet. It's gonna be so much fun. But anyway, you just, just go ahead and get into this nonsense, baby, okay? Today we are going to talk about this lady CHSBC. CHSBC is coming out with some strong stress allegations against the king um, of, of KwaZulu Natal at this point. Um, and so, yay, he, Agumata Satasa, good TikTok guys, Agumata Satasa, she is being dragged by her forehead. People are so mean. People are so mean. There's a lot of people that were asking to waste her hair, and I'm sure when I, I play her video, y'all will see. Um, but um, yes, let's be is coming out with some real allegations. She has um opened a case because she claims that her life is in danger. She's been getting calls, threatening her life. It's a lot, okay? It's a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this video here. It's about nine minutes, and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. I didn't go out looking for Ubayede, one, number two. And when Ubayede finally found or got me, Ushelile, Obanindombi, Waitanda, Washel, and Gakoma. Is that my sin? The fact that His Royal Highness, one of the most powerful men in the country, fished Sikhesibisi out. I was invited and in, instead Wangi Shelanga Koma is that my sin? I bo guys, really? I didn't go and break anyone's marriage. The guy is a king. Our late king was a polygamist. And it's not to say that I wanted to be in a the next wife or in a polygamous marriage no guys i was enjoying um jolo you ever fair to how many women out there want a jolla with the most powerful man in the country huh i was enjoying it and it was nice it was sweet i stayed in the royal palace in ulundi i worked remotely there yes my children were taken to the royal palace in ulundi and stayed for a week there I had ministers, politicians, family, elders calling me, begging me to not say a thing. And yes, I was subsequently human trafficked or taken to Nigeria, where the same modus operandi happened to me at the church of TB Joshua. And you can write what you want, guys, because it shows how powerful CHSBC is that you don't focus, you leave your problems and you're focusing on CHSBC, guys. Hmm? Imagine. Number three, what I want to clarify on record. Me, CHSBC, I do not have a negative relationship with Ubayete or King Mrs. Zulu as well, 
Me, Sihlesbisi. I am not part of the smear campaign that is being written or narrated or driven by factions of his family that are against him. Why do I say that? The audio that um, the audio that was leaked a few days ago that was doing the rounds on TikTok. When a story came out saying Sihle CBC is an intruder at the Zulu Royal House, we begged the royal family, we begged Bayete to say, please issue a statement to clear my um my name because uh, people are saying things about me that are not true so we sat with a legal advisor who ha who happened to be a friend to one of the legal advisors to the king and we said we need to clear my name because my reputation is getting ruined people are saying all funny things about us it's bc Nini Nini Sitless BC is dead. And when you look at the poster, the number on the poster belongs to one of the sisters or a member of the royal family. That's how deep the smear campaign was. Now, that audio was, you know when you see a doctor, doctor patient confidentiality? Yes. So that audio in the privacy of the legal advisor who was advised by one of by it as legal advisors to say please talk to him record it and send it back to me so that when i speak to the elders i can tell them what to do that's what happened the legal advisor on my side recorded it sent it to the legal advisor who's part of by team so the fraction or the section of people that are against the kingship of Ubayete, Mrs. Ulugazulitin. They got hold of this audio because one of the legal advisors who happens to advise the king shared this evidence with not only the king but some of the royal members. And Dugu Dugu, three days ago, it's on TikTok, they are saying the king wants to kill Sihle CBC. But then I still talk. That is why in November, December, I hosted, I hosted his brother, his fiance, some of the family members. So, we are Shela Ngiakoma, Bumnant, right? Like women are saying, I will see her. Because Ubayete, yes, he's got a wife. Yes, Unezangiza, Zake. It's not like I'm the only in Tombi. Maybe. You know? Because I was previewed to so many things. You know, when I was there at the royal house. And yes, the royal people know me. I'm not an intruder. So it is saddening that the newspaper comes out today and again, people are just insulting me left, right and center, left, right and center. Guys, if it's going to put food on your table, continue insulting CLSBC. But a case had to be opened because all of a sudden I'm getting random calls from people I don't know who are threatening my life because... They are saying, I am part of the faction that wants to bring down the king. They are saying, I am part of the faction that wants to destroy the kingship. So I wasn't going to keep quiet and not go open a case because we have seen how assassinations are happening in this country. Moreover, I'm a single mom with two kids and then the next thing I'm gunned down tomorrow. God forbid, what will happen to my two children? So I had to open a case. On top of that, the very video that is circulating on TikTok, if you guys took time to go to that very TikTok account and find out who is the owner of that TikTok account, that TikTok account is owned by one of the elders, an uncle, 
of Ms. Suzulu. Hmm. Moreover, I must emphasize, I've spoken to Queen Maisela, guys. Not once. Not twice. But a couple of times. Because when I was at the royal house in Ulundi, the king himself did not hide to his wife, Queen Maisela, that I was there. Everybody knew I was there. I mean, I was even taken to Wakangela. I was taken to Richards Bay. I was taken to I She knew I was there. To a point where the king wanted us, me and Queen Maisela, to work together. I'm there to Stolile. Yeah! Intimately so. I'm Stolile, are you happy? There, Stolile. And we're friends. We're buddies, we're best friends. How? When you are selling a coming to the thing and you are friends, how am I? Hey, bro. Now you are going to sit this way, but you don't be what? Washella. I come to sit this way. And so what? Balani, bro, my balan. Kulu man, man, funu kulu man. Text man, funu text. If it's going to give you sleep. Balani guys, even the Konuglalepsu. Balani, I am Sangan Mina. Yay! Okay, guys, but on a serious note, I've got nothing but love for Bayete. I've got nothing but love and respect for him. I've got nothing but love and respect for the Zulu royal family. I've got nothing but love for. Yeah, the Zulu family, guys. But I wasn't saying hi, Mina. Um, Gangena, number two, number three, number number four. I have to know. Ah, na you guys, I'm not able to share that with you. Hi, bo. Now, with me, if I was the one that was having an affair, because let's. No matter how you try to put it, girl, it's an affair. My personal opinion is an affair. He is a married man, so do you know exactly what you was doing, okay? So yeah, you know, if um I was the one which I don't see myself because he's a married man, but if I was the one, um what I was gonna do was I was gonna shut my mouth. I was definitely going to shut my mouth and um I can go ahead and tell you guys now why. Um, I was gonna trade my silence for his protection um, You know coming out now and saying things like this that's embarrassing him like nobody's business I mean the king deserves all the respect that he can get and so this definitely puts some real disrespect Towards him as if you guys here. I don't know if it was on this video or another one that I actually saw um, Where she was claiming that the time the first time that she had to take a picture with the king I think that the king's aunt or something also had to be in the picture because she said that it was gonna look weird or people were gonna talk about it or something like that. Clearly, they did not want this out. And now, Ngu girl, now she's out here. I don't know if they dumped her and who girls just deciding to go wild. I honestly do not know, but I feel like now, if she had any protection from the king. I'm sure now he's just like, okay, you with on your own, Shibobum K. Sometimes I just feel like that's her not being smart. Um, and the fact that she's out here like boosting about it, like, you know, there's a lot of things that I can boost about. Being a side chick, I don't think is one of them, you know? Um, or not side chick, side chicken. She looks like she has roasted definitely, you know? Um, she's definitely has graduated from a chick from a chick to a chicken or maybe she's at a hen stage she's not a young child you know and it does seem like she has got two kids which i think she should have also been making sure that she's putting them into consideration as well because this can also endanger their lives i don't know why my dog keeps on going back you guys but so i feel like yeah she's just not thinking about a lot of uh, factors this honestly just does not put the the king in a good light uh and for her to even say that it's it's not only her it's a lot of them okay we were suspecting but we didn't want you to come out here and like tell us 
I think that is very um, disrespectful towards the kingdom. And maybe the king should consider that any of his concubines should go ahead and sign that NDA the moment a person says, beep, arrest them you know so yeah man this for me is honestly just crazy i feel like this woman is disrespecting herself so much apparently she is a somebody a somebody that i have got no clue who she is so i, I don't know but anyway go ahead and comment down below what you guys think of this whole situation do you see what i'm saying to say this can really get very dangerous for her if they are already threatening her how much are they going to threaten her more when she's online preparing there are certain things that you just do not have to talk if she is getting calls and being um you know threatened those are the consequences and some of the stuff that come when you are dealing with married men and i think that that's one of the parts that a lot of people need to say she was saying that she was enjoying and everything so am i now supposed to sit here and be like oh my god is busy is in danger over what she knew he was married she decided that she was gonna go for him she knew that she was not even the only side chick that is there so what is my business we have got load shedding. Should I not be worried about serious things than somebody that decides to go and bust it open for a married man? I just, I honestly don't give a damn. So, however she's going to get herself out of this situation that she put herself in is none of my business. But I do have to say that I feel like this is definitely going to be something else. This might actually be very dangerous for her. Anyway, I just love you guys. I really cannot wait to hear what your guys' um, comments have to say about this. What are you guys' opinions? From you, I'm in the I love you guys. Stay blessed. And I will see you guys in my next episode. Bye, ninjas.